This is, um, what's this one about? <laughs> it's about peace. It's, it's about, about <laughs> I wouldn't say it's optimistic. OK, no, I, do you know what? I didn't see what it was and I was just taking a gamble. Yeah, that and you failed optimistic. massively. OK, well, fine. Well, it depends. It's good. Maybe it's good for them. Saudi Arabia and Iran work towards restoring relations as foreign ministers meet. That sounds quite sweet. Well, they're meeting in China, so we've got a new axis forming. <laughs> but I don't think it's necessarily going to be yeah. particularly good for those people in the last story who actually do want democracy. Yeah. This is not necessarily a good sign. Uh, Saudi Arabia and Iran, they've been sort of at each other's throats uh, for the last, since 2016, uh, when Saudi Arabia um, basically uh, uh, executed a prominent Shia Muslim cleric. Uh, there's been proxy wars through Syria. Uh, yes. And uh, so, yeah, but look, peace arguably is usually good, but it has, having those two oil creating massively wealthy countries at yes. each other's throats has sort of helped to, you know, push it, arguably, Saudi Arabia towards more peaceful things with yeah. Israel. Maybe it's not a great idea to have these countries that have terrible uh, human rights records yeah, yeah, and, uh, and hate democracy and attack journalists for doing their job. Getting them all together yeah. and uh, getting that brokered by China, who are also not very good on the whole human rights thing. Exactly. Yeah, it does sound like a scary And you just had OPEC just cutting its uh, the number of barrels it's producing. Yeah. Just at the point where inflation starts to peak and go down... That's not helping the world economy. So is that, is it, Lewis, is it better when Saudi Arabia and Iran are at, at each other's throats? Well, that's like saying, was it, was it better when the Nazis joined with the Soviet Union in 1939 I mean, or 1940? That's quite a big elite. That's just like that. No, it is, <laughs> it is exactly like that. First of all, these two countries, they hate each other. One is Shia, one is Shi Shiite. They, they hate, no, one is Shia, one is Sunni. And they, they hate each other. And uh, there's no amount of, like, agreement that's going to that's gonna think, you know, you think they hate the Jews. They hate each other way more than that. This is just a momentary, it's not even a peace thing. It's just like, you know, America, every country deals with their enemies. Yeah. The United States had, we've had, we've signed agreements with the Russians for, for years. That doesn't mean and we were And there's a whistle-stop historical <laughs> Thank you so much. And now we're off to date. Right, we're going to move on.